just a second while I <coughs> sync both cameras. Google, it'll take a minute. If it even works. Greetings, unsettled souls! It did work. Welcome to the Correct View. Sam I beat the Ganji during political commentary for the media speaks with absolutely no sound for my theme music. Like I see it playing, but I do not hear it playing. So you're I guess you're not gonna hear it playing either. Uh, let's make sure everybody on here does have sound that's listening. All right, you guys can hear me. I have no earthly idea where my music has gone, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Look up the song Turmoil by Passing Time. Welcome aboard. High def, low def. Uh, you guys doing a show. You guys wanted some more things about the sharks. It's got cut off. I got to it. We got a big show ahead of us. My wife likes her job more than she likes me, so I spend more time by myself than a hermit. That means you're stuck with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so if you guys donated at the correct views at Hotmail.com through PayPal, we'd make enough money that not only would this be my job, but I might actually get to see my spouse. Um, uh, shame on you. I know you're thinking, why would you want to do that? Very funny. All right, friends, check this out. A Breitbart has the most unusual practice going on here. And I'm not saying it's not helpful. And I'm not getting into the realm of conspiracy theory or anything like that. I'm just saying that this is definitely an idea that's a few fries short of a happy meal. I let You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to go to screen share here on the, uh, the low def, high def. You can see it in the screen behind me. Everything is sourced. This is Breitbart. Vatican accepts payment in blood to access museums. It's the strangest story. Along with a Visa, MasterCard, and cash, visitor, visitors wishing to access the Vatican museums may now have the option of paying in blood. Without blood, there is no life. Without art, life would be empty and sad, said Barbara Data, director of the Vatican Museum. The museums recently announced that blood donors will receive a voucher toward an entry ticket to the Vatican Museums. The new blood payment plan, with the slogan, Give Blood and Follow Your Artistic Inclination, is the product of a partnership between Rome's Gemelli University Hospital and the blood donor group Francisco Olegati, together with the Vatican Museum. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I just think it's ironic. Um, I think a lot of you in high school and college will know the trick about donating blood. Uh, when, when you would see the, the, blood, the blood cart in front of the school that day, you were absolutely delighted because you knew if you donated blood, you were going to get like, and I, I did this even in college. I'm, I'm not going to lie. And I went to college late. Um, oh, I'll take the class off and get the, like the free lunch and the donut. And I loved it. I, I, I freaking loved it. Um, I've been poked more than a pin question. I haven't, haven't given blood in a long time. I probably should, but I thought that was a weird twisted little story for everyone. Uh, here's some good news on the other front here. Um, <clears throat> Congress spending bill protects medical pot states. Now let, let's just be let's just be uh, blunt for a moment, if we will. Um, who cares about pot? I mean, really, who cares about pot? But beyond that, even if you're someone who's absolutely against it, you detest it. Most people have reached a point where you, we've realized you cannot police other people. If you try to say what somebody else can or cannot put into their own body, then what you're really doing is not only are you creating a taboo in a black market, but you are infringing upon their right to medicate as they see fit. You can use any drug they want. It's not a good idea. But... It's not up to the federal government. It's not up to you. That might offend you, snowflakes, but it's still true. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not the government can make money off of weed. Well, I mean, the government taxes everything. But to encourage that is to encourage high taxes. So while it is good for freedom, it is not necessarily good in the, the, the scheme of things. Because we're saying, well, yeah, let's make a new tax. 
So, I mean, watch what you cheer for, my friends. But this is still good news in that uh, people aren't going to be uh, going to jail for marijuana. And it looks more and more like... Uh, Many of you know I support Mr. Trump, but I had concerns about the way he would treat the Fourth Amendment. And this is this is kind of good news, if it ever loads. This is kind of good news in that it looks like Jeff Sessions is not going to be a nightmare. I know he talked to the, uh, man, the governor of Colorado and uh, didn't say he was going to go shutting anything down or arresting anybody. So thank you, Sessions. Thanks for honoring the Constitution. Uh, Congress extended protections to 44 states that have legalized medical marijuana in its proposed $1 trillion spending bill that funds the government through September. The language prevents the Justice Department from using any of its funding to prevent those states from implementing their own laws that subsidize the use, distribution, possession, and cultivation of medical marijuana. This amendment, says championed by former Republican Maurice Hinchley, Democrat New York, and Sam Farr, Democrat California, and uh, of course Dana Rorenbacher, Republican California, more than 10 years ago finally came up with the law in 2014 as part of an omnibus bill that funded fiscal year 2015. <clears throat> it says it's unclear if it will be included again this year, but I would say if it does remain a violation of the federal law to distribute marijuana throughout any place in the United States, no matter who legalizes it or not, now, that's very, very important that we stop there, because let me tell you why that's not true. There's two reasons. First of all, states are allowed to choose their own destiny. They do not have to be beholden to the federal government, except for very few instances. And we've lost track of that over the years. We've lost track of the importance of states' rights. We really have. I'm going to take it one step further, we can do that as well. That which isn't outlined in the Constitution is a state's rights issue. That would be abortion, that would be health care. Things that are not mentioned in the Constitution are not part of the federal government's job. So there's your two reasons. And uno dos, right there for you. Keep it politically correct. Check this out. Sessions called the idea of medical marijuana could ease the heroin crisis stupid. Well, does Jeff Sessions know? Has he read the studies where that has happened? Has he read the studies that have talked about how a lot of people have been helped by it? Because if he had, then he probably wouldn't have made the comment himself. The, the main thing I'm happy about seeing here, uh, uh, the overreaching part of this, is it looks like marijuana users are at least going to be left alone because they're not... They're not happy about what states have done, but they're not moving in to shut it down. Um, a session said he thought much of Obama's administration's coal memo, which limited the federal interference in states that legalized marijuana as long as they robustly regulated its growth and sale as valid. So it looks like states are going to be left alone. Now, here's what's important. Um, I keep hearing people saying that they've put Fentanyl in marijuana. Well, here's my question. Why would you wanna? Now, I only used fentanyl once in my life, and it was forever ago when I had a wisdom tooth taken out. But, let me tell you something. It was prescribed. Let me tell you something. Twenty dollars a pill or something to use that crap? A whole bag of weed is twenty dollars. So if you were to go ahead and try to do that, you're going to get nowhere really fast, and I'm sure you can see why. So when you hear talk about this going on and dribbling on and on and on, ask yourself whether or not it's possible or even economically feasible to go ahead and do that, because I, I'm sure it can happen. I think my computer blinked out. I think it can happen, but I don't know. Let's be real for a minute. Do you, do you think on the, on the bigger scope of things that they're going to be putting fentanyl in marijuana? Well, if it's legalized, stay with me here. If it's legalized, well, at that point, then they can't do it. So I think more than anything... Street drugs are far more dangerous than having anything policed by the federal government. 
That's not saying that you always need somebody looking over you and holding your hand for everything that you do. No, that's what Democrats want. But it is important to realize that a bit of, a bit of self-monitoring and, and policing of oneself is important. With alcohol, with marijuana, with, with, with anything that people are prone to use. And uh, friends, i got a couple more I wanted to mention, although with the computer blanking out, I don't want to do it if I can't put the sources up, so I may get to it next time as this reloads. I want to remind everybody in the meantime that this is brought to you by the Seacrest Motel. If you have not been to the Seacrest Motel, not seen the Seacrest Motel, make sure you do. It's in Sandusky. And uh, come on, you're going to go to Cedar Point this year. You're going to go to the races up there. They've got the coolest, uh, well, quite possibly the most highly rated animatronic haunted house in the world up there in Sandusky. And they're all within like two or three minutes of the Seacrest Motel. But it gets better for you because you're going to tell Vicky that you heard about it on the correct views. And when you do that, you're going to save because you're a listener. That means you're going to save twice. You're going to save just by going to the Seacrest. Rooms are fortune up there. And then you're going to say when you tell him you heard it from us. So, friends, what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump off here. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a part two of this at another time. It's not a big deal. I will make sure we get to the triple X sharks and all the crazy stuff. Let me know what you think about the new shortened show. And, uh, I don't know, my computer sucks. Good night, friends. God bless. And remember, we don't need the government to hold our hand for everything. We simply need them to get out of the way. Good night, friends. God bless. Oh, yeah, you need the word of the day. The word of the day is computer. Well, it's two words of the day today. Computer failure. Type it into the comment line. Let me know what your address is so I can send you something.